Hello everyone, welcome back to the Limit of Adhesion and our USF 2000 track guide series. This week we're at Okiyama, the old classic in Japan, and the hot lap hero for this one is Tour Malarin. He set a 129.045, and as ever we will show the lap with commentary, just in the cockpit on its own and in chase view. So, hope you learned something from it. I've got to say that this is a pretty stonking lap when I watched it. A great example of what we mean when we talk about a momentum car. So, let's get into it. I hope you enjoy it. Through the imaginatively named last corner and we're heading down the main straight then and you're keeping an eye out for the blue cone on the right hand side which marks the pit exit and just before you get to that tour starts braking so we're looking for about 70 odd meters I would say and we head into turn one now this is the momentum corner it's third gear but it basically brake a little bit less than you think get to the apex pick up the throttle and blast your way out to the outside it sounds really weird, but you've just got to practice it. Just, uh, yeah, brake slightly less than you think and try and carry the speed through the corner. Now, as we come over to the right-hand side to set ourselves up for the Williams corner, turn two, Tor doesn't actually brake here. You can see he's just reducing the throttle, coming completely off the throttle, and then he's going to pick it up again just to see, is it all right? And he's not quite sure, so he's going to come off again and then back on again, and he knows he's going to stick now. And he's hard on the power out of the Williams corner and heading down the hill through the Moss S. This is obviously just an acceleration zone, so we'll skip ahead until we get to the entrance for the Atwood curve. Critical corner on Okiyama is the Atwood curve. So we're looking to about the 70 meters mark. There we go. Breaking down to third gear and again, momentum corner. You need to get to the inside, but don't break as hard as you think. Look down to second gal just to make sure he's got the uh, the turn in and hard on the power for the exit. Don't run out wide on the exit here. You'll just lose loads of time. You need to stay tight uh, to the right hand side of the track. And then if you when you do start feeding out to get onto the straight, you want to stay to the middle and then gradually pick up the left hand side of the track once you're fully onto the straight. So. As I say, outward critical corner because of this long straight here. This is the longest straight on the circuit, so you need to get a good exit so you can have a, a chance to try and pass people into the hairpin ahead. So let's blast down the straight then to get to the hairpin. And your braking marker is going to be in between the 100 meter board and the Marshall's hut or tower. There it is. So breaking down here, and you can see here, this is quite an interesting technique that uh, Tor does, and I've learned something from him here. Rather than trying to get all the way down to first gear before you even get into the corner, he's turning in in third gear and then gradually going down to second and first as he goes through the first part of the corner, and then he's straight on the power as he gets to the apex. So really, really nicely done there. 
Now we get to Revolver and Piper, and these are two of the most hard corners on the circuit, followed by the next two hairpins. So he's off the power and just trying to coast through. It's off camber, picking up the inside curb and then getting onto the power and use all of the runoff on the exit here. You can see he's heading over the shortcut for the short version of the track. A little dab of the brakes to get the rotation through Piper and again a critical corner because it's a it's quite a short straight but there is a straight after it and as we head into the two hairpins it's a classic overtaking zone. Really tricky corner to get right though Piper you will see a lot of people spinning off to the inside so be careful through these corners. Now we're going to come down to Hobbs and Redman. Sorry it's Redman first isn't it then Hobbs. The double hairpin. Now again these are slightly off camber they're very very tricky long corners and the longer corners are where you're going to make the most lap time so really good to practice your hairpins. So you can see here Tor's turning in in second gear but he gets a bit of a slide as he comes through the corner which is a, a typical problem to have with Okiyama but you can see there massive overcorrection to get the car straightened up but chucks it straight down to first gear so he's lost his momentum but because he goes down to first he's able to pick up the power and not lose too much time there. A little dab of brake just to get the rotation into Hobbs. This one just takes forever, just feels like a never ending corner and as you can see Tor gets all the way on the power, the back end gets a bit light, he has to correct it and lovely tail slide through there and just two corners to go then. Mike Knight is following, it's nothing to do with Knight Rider but a former British racing driver who helped set up the circuit back in the day. So you can see the curb in the middle of the track there denoting the pit lane on the right and he just takes over the curb flat out easy corner with this car. One corner to go then just the last corner. Again it's a third gear corner so dab on the brakes down to third start turning in and Tor runs as wide as you would ever want to run on this corner and um, you know he's really pushing his luck on the exit here keep an eye on the left front wheel and you can see there it goes all picking up all the dirt on the exit any further than that and you're going to have an accident or an off track so really nicely done there by tour and he blasts up to cross the line for a 129.045